we're gonna try to kill Havel early. Interesting that there's a uh, unfinished polygons. <laughs> you can see the torches through the top, the the bottom of the archway. That point right there. You can see the torches on the other side. Whatever. You know Havel's here. If you have the basement key or the master key or the the basement watchtower key, or the uh, master key. You can actually just stand here. Have a will show up. He'll be like, hey, yo, what's up? Either you can bait him out. It's not always consistent to my understanding. He's right there, which is just far enough to where you can't use a halberd to uh, attack him through the wall. Unfortunately. But... You can also make him show up, and then you attack him. But that's also a little monk ass. If he doesn't tink, bounce his uh, weapon off of the door. So you can always just run forward. You don't have to roll. And with Havel, you just walk around him. Be prepared to... Uh, he can 180 his... Uh, weapon so when he starts his attack <laughs> he can 180 and just slam you and kill you you want to attack parry his attacks late they're actually very forgiving for his parries he'll do a two hand swipe a two hand over the head Nice. Good job, Havel. Doing great. Attack me, bitch. So if you parry late, uh, you will more often than not successfully parry. So wait until his weapon's at the top, or the peak, the apex of its attack and then parry. That was a little early. I might have gotten hit. Or you can backstab him. So in order to backstab, you just walk around in circles and backstab. Can uh, someone ban this guy, please? If you mess up, that's fine. Just back up. Wait for him to put down his guard or back away from the wall, and just rotate. I expected that. So what happened was, he twitched. And instead of uh, twitching... <laughs> so instead of twitching uh, the way that I was anticipating, I should have actually gone to the left as opposed to the right. Um, because... When he's shift shuffling to face you, uh, as you just pivot around him, walk around him, uh, he'll. It'll, it's a smooth animation until he shifts slightly and exposes a little bit more of his back. And when he shifts slightly, just R1 and you'll backstab. In that case, he was too. I was too far to the left, and so when I started moving rotating around to the right, he was able to twitch and then pivot his attack, so I was in the way for him to kill me. <laughs> Alright, well, I failed to react. That's my fault. But, when in doubt, walk away, get comfortable, and reset the fight. If you start panicking, well, reset the fight. Now, if you block with this shield, since it has basically no physical uh, damage reduction, it's not going to turn out very well. There are other shields that have higher damage reduction, and you'll be able to survive, but you'll get staggered. So if you get staggered while you're blocking, when you're... You get staggered when your stamina bar drops to zero, which he can easily do with his weapon. If it drops to zero, you'll do that animation where you're like, whoa! 
And if you don't spam B to dodge, he will kill you. He has just enough time between attacks to kill you. Now, if you, um, well, if you see enough of his back, you don't want to be too far to the right. You actually want to be closer to his left hip than his right hip. Now, he could have pivoted uh, there and killed me. So, just letting you know. When in doubt, just walk it out. <laughs> it is really that simple. If you walk to the left, you can get clipped. If you walk to the right, normally you have enough time. If you start out to the right and walk to the right, you'll be fine. I could have died because he could have pivoted and reset his attack and then killed me. So if you saw that he twitched, thank you, Restwater. If you saw he twitched, if I didn't go back the other direction fast enough, I would have died. Also, in this game, don't roll away. Roll towards. Because if you roll away, the weapons, more often than not, can still hit you at the end of your roll. So you roll away, and the weapon will tip you. Ooh, I would have died. I did die. So, case in point, don't go left. Go right. That should be the end of the video. I've explained everything and I've died multiple times and I would like to continue on tonight. So just bear with me. Listen to what I said. Do what I say, not what I do. There we go.